This is the free motion quilting tutorial for jellyfish. This video is a part of the free motion quilting project created by Leah Day. So far, over 300 designs have been published to the project for free with video tutorials just like this one. Check out the other designs and share them with your friends at freemotionproject.com. Now let's get back to jellyfish. This design is stitched by first starting in the center of your quilting space with a circle. And then you're going to stitch a straight line, kind of a curvy line, and swirl into a circle, building them up, working in a circular fashion. And you can see I marked a very light circle on the surface of my quilt, so that way it would be easier to stitch these and curve them around, because you want to have that kind of subtle curve, swirl into that circle, and then travel stitch all the way back. It's kind of hard to line it up without having something as a guide, so feel free to mark a circle if you're wanting this to fill a space specifically, if you're wanting it to fill a certain area or a certain shape. To match up the two areas, you really want to start kind of stitching one part of it and then the other part so that way they have a very similar angle whenever they come together. Otherwise it won't really match up and it'll look kind of funny when the jellyfish is complete. So you can see I'm just kind of stitching one side and then swirling in and stitching the opposite side, trying to match it up the best way I can. I try and fit in two more circles, two more feathers into the space so that way it fits evenly. This is the first half of the design and this is actually very similar to butterfly feather flower and if you're interested in trying kind of a simpler version of it that'll fill your quilting space completely, definitely check out that design. Now this design has a second part to it and that is to swirl around the jellyfish with these bouncy echoes. I'm just simply stitching up and around and connecting with that space between those circles. That way it creates a, an echo that connects. It's called a connecting echo. Builds up the thread just a little bit in those spaces and really draws and creates a lot more uh, texture and interest. Draws your eye a little bit better to those spaces because they're just a little bit darker. So I'm going to swirl my way all the way around heading back to that starting place and then I'm just going to continue to work around just working in that counterclockwise fashion. Whenever you get to the edges of your quilting space you're going to of course have some strange places like this. Just try and keep it consistent. Swirl in, connect, and travel stitch your way back out again. You can see I'm just kind of working my way around this edge, fitting in a few more echoes the biggest thing to keep in mind is you're just wanting it to connect to those spaces. So just ensure that it all looks consistent. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Jellyfish. Are you interested in learning more about free motion quilting? Make sure to check out the Free Motion Quilting Project and find over 300 video tutorials just like this one. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.